Hi all, welcome to another Seasons in Garden video. In this video I will attempt to win a battle or two with the slugs that are just going rampant this year. Because it's warm and raining most of the time. And they have eaten so far everything that I have planted. And there's the veg beds are basically cleared of any vegetables. So what I decided to do is to actually add the copper rings around my plants to protect them because I don't have enough copper to go all around. Well, I cannot buy that much copper to go all around the beds and I'm not sure that it would help. Uh, so I decided to just protect the plants individually. I bought this this sheet of copper and when I bought it I was not sure if it was insulated or not and based on the current look of the sheet and on the success rate for slugs and snails I would say that it's it does have insulation around it and uh, I should have first sanded it at least a little bit to break this insulation because in that case the slugs would get into the contact to the copper sheet not just on the rim of the ring but also on the sides of the ring and that could have prevented them a bit more so all that i'm doing is basically just using my marker to mark how big of how th the thickness of the rim and then cutting it out with my sheet uh, shears and then just scissors and then uh, making a ring by using my hands. So the next thing was to plant the new plants that I have bought and my deal was not looking that bad that good because <laughs> I didn't water it last night even though I bought it yesterday but Every other plant that I bought was overwatered, so I thought that dill was also overwatered only for it to turn out dry. So I planted the dill and then I squeezed the rim around it and I did this with all of the other plants, all of the dill, parsley, basil, everything that I have bought. And in the end, this is what it looks like. So the deal have seen better days. The parsley is look looking great. One thing that survived so far was the sweet potatoes. At least one, the bigger one has survived everything. The smaller one was actually eaten to the uh, soil, but bounced back. And then I planted the basil and tomatoes and butternut squash in the other two beds. And this is one of the survivors, which is the pansies. Uh, so I keep them here because they're edible and at least I have something in the veg patch. Two weeks later and the parsley is dry because I think I forgot to water it when I planted it. So it dried out right away. There is one dill plant that is still alive. The other ones don't look like there was a damage slug damage on them it could have been birds because they are known to eat dill i have no idea why this basil is looking so good but it's like one out of all of the basils that i planted the butternut squash is also looking incredible and then we come to the tomatoes and one tomato is clearly has some slug damage the other tomato is fine I have no idea one one is looking 
uh, shitty and the other one is looking fabulous. But okay, I'm glad that they left one. And the basil is again reduced to sticks, so nothing new with the basil in this bed. But at least we have one tomato that's whole and uh, one basil plant and butternut squash. So that's it for today. I'll keep on fighting and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.